So when I was younger, I would do what everyone did, you know, playing games like Monopoly, um, watching TV shows like Golden Balls, which had a segment on it called Split or Steal, which I didn't know at the time was actually based on the prison's dilemma. So I had these very innate, you know, interests from a very, very young age. Um, and I found that I was very much interested in the problem solving aspect of economics. So there's many reasons to study at Cambridge, of course, but I think one of the most important reasons is that some of the founders of the discipline that we're studying, economics, were, were at this institution. So thinking, for example, as walking through the Marshall uh, Library of Economics or the Keynes Room of Economics, it's just something that's very empowering and invigorating to know that you are in the same institution as those who are uh, who founded the field that you're studying now. What made me choose to study economics at Cambridge specifically, I guess really boils down to the high standards in teaching that you really can't get elsewhere. You're essentially learning from the best professors in the field, as well as studying alongside the best peers of your cohort. So a bunch of things were very amazing about Cambridge, but I think the most important thing was the exposure you get to the world's greatest minds. So for example, uh, some things that really affected my personal development and academic development at Cambridge was meeting all these guest speakers that come to give seminars at Cambridge or the annual massive uh, lectures that they give. So for example, thinking of a lunch with Bob Schiller or like a coffee talk with Esther Duflo and talking about what brought them into economics and what led them to come up with these brilliant ideas that are defining the frontier in economics right now. It's just something that's very invigorating to know that you are in a close in a close communication with these people who are driving the discipline you're studying now. And it's very empowering and it's such an invaluable experience. So I think the main piece of advice that I'd give to people who want to study economics at Cambridge is not to approach the subject as one of your three A-levels with however many papers and one that you could just switch off from after your exams in June, but more as a tool that helps you understand the world around you a bit better. I think that, at least in my experience, um, lots of girls, you know, they, they sometimes lack confidence and they think that they don't have what it takes um, and I just want to say that, you know, just give it your all and give it a shot. You know, even if you don't succeed, it's completely fine. You know, you miss 100% of the shots that you don't take is what they say. Um, so I definitely say, you know, just do your best and try. And it doesn't matter if it doesn't work out. Um, but yeah, like you should just go for it and have faith in yourself.